Uh, starting with Tatiana Regal. I just introduced the whole night, so you're, you're my first person, and welcome. Uh, so you've been doing this a long time, uh, TV and film, yes. What's the difference between TV and film? Well, both are, are very exciting. Television now is particularly fun because there's just so many great shows on. Um, I guess the big difference from my perspective is uh, time. You know, TV is a pretty crunchy schedule and it's a, you're just one episode after another after another, whereas with features you have a little bit more time to um, go for perfection rather than your sort of instinctual movements on television from an editorial perspective. I would guess that would be the difference. That's fascinating. So as a little girl, were you a perfectionist? Uh, with certain things and certainly not with others, yeah. When did you know you wanted to be an editor and why? I always knew I wanted to be involved with film. I had no idea what I wanted to do, but I knew I loved movies. Um, and I basically kind of went through all the job possibilities in my mind and realized I wouldn't be very good at most of them. <laughs> so I kind of left, left me post-production, which ended up being a perfect mix of a, a very technical and a very creative job, um, which worked out perfectly. I like that you mentioned intuition yeah. for TV and sort of that crunchy schedule. Yeah. What do you mean by intuition? Is it just do you do you met, do you see the final product or are you the final product? Well, I think it, it, with editing, always it takes a lot of intuition or just in, in, an instinctual approach to the material. You know, you're working off a story and you are an audience. You're sort of the first audience that gets to see the movie. Everybody else is, you know, involved in the in the shooting and all of the compromises that go through the making of a film. Where when it comes into my room, I watch it, it maybe in daily form, not cut, but I watch a performance and I react to that performance. Um, what I was thinking about in terms of television versus film is you just don't you have to you have, because of the time constraint with television, you get to really hone that instinction, instinctual side. Um, that just pays off if you have the luxury of having a little more time with features to really get that all together. Do you know the whole storyline from start to finish with a series, like for example television, or are you going crunch by crunchy chunk? If you're lucky, you get a couple of scripts ahead. <laughs> you know, I, I don't even think the writers know. I mean, they may know the general arc of a season, but you know, things are written up until the last moment. So, so your intuition is really based on that particular storyline, that episode. But yeah. knowing a little bit about where it might be going? Yeah, well, of course, as you, as you get to know this, the, the show, as the show goes on, um, you know, directors often come and go with a series, but editorial and the crew stays the whole time. So I was on a, one show I was on for three seasons. So I knew that show inside and out and the actors and you know, every which way they were going to shoot every scene, you know, potentially. I'd seen it, you know, 20 times before, so I was really ready and prepared for each one. Outstanding. Now, I, Tanya, had to be challenging yeah. because you have all that skating going on. Is that um, some of that actually her footage? Uh, yeah, Margo. Tanya Harnick's finish footage? No. None of it? No, none of it is her. Okay. Well, except for the very end. Oh, yeah, There's a yes. title sequence at the end, which is the real Tanya Harding. Yes. No, it was all Margot who did a fair amount of her own skating wow. um, or a double and then we did some head and face replacement um, with a double but you know all the stuff that didn't require decades of training was Margo. Oh, really? yeah. She did very well yeah and then you know like I said a great double who was just phenomenal. How about that? Yeah. How hard to find a skating double for Margo Robbie? <laughs> I know I know it's, it's amazing they did it they did a really really good job but yeah and then we replaced her head and or face depending on the shot. How much fun. Yeah. Congratulations for Thank the nomination you. for this award. Thank you. Yeah, it's really an honor. It's wonderful. Yeah. Well, Thank we're you. Rooting for you. Thank you. Of course. Thank Thanks you a lot. Nice meeting you. Me. My pleasure. You bet. Thank you. Okay. Good night.